Hi, in this tutorial video, I'm going to present some of the new features in new Babacud 2020 Home Edition. There is improved hatch command, then new modify tools, fillet and chamfer, and in the second part of this video, you will see Babacud 2020 huge performance boost for working with big and complex CAD drawings. Let's start with the hatch. First, I will draw some objects which will be used later to create a hatch object. I'll use basic drawing tools, rectangle, arc and so on. Also I'll use trim tool to trim some unwanted parts of my objects. You can start any drawing command by clicking on menu buttons or start typing command name in workspace and choose command from the list. Click on hatch button to start hatch command. As you can see, here we have all hatch tools in separate ribbon menu. We can pick interior points or select boundaries to create hatch object. Also we have pattern samples, which can be expanded and user can select from large number of different patterns. Then, we can change pattern scale and angle by using arrow keys, or we can just type desired value in edit box. After we set all these things I'll pick interior of my objects and hatch will be created. At any time, during active hatch command, we can change hatch parameters. We can change pattern, scrolling the list of pattern samples. All these patterns are loaded from pat configuration file, which can be found in in support subfolder of Babicut installation path, in support subfolder. You can easy modify scale and angle parameters and immediately see changes applied in the workspace. To finish hatch command, just press escape key or click on close button with green check sign. Later, we can select and modify existing hatch object. While hatch is selected, just click on hatch command to edit the hatch. Hatch command is improved, so now you can create hatch with just picking interior of any closed area. You don't need to trim, join lines etc. Old way of creating hatch is kept, so you can click on select button in ribbon menu, and then select boundaries to create a hatch object. You can also remove boundaries of hatch object by clicking on button remove, which is placed under the select button in the hatch toolbar. Next new feature in Babacud 2020 Home are new tools, fillet and chamfer, which can be used to round and bevel corners. In Modify Toolbar, click on Fillet button to start fillet command, or click on the arrow near the button to choose between chamfer and area split commands. I will apply fillet command on the rectangle object, which is in the fact a polyline. After starting fillet command, we can choose PS option for rounding all corners on polyline object. When we select polyline after fillet command, we see that polyline now has bulge corners. Fillet command can be also applied on two lines or two polylines to get rounding corner. I'll draw a few lines and then I will run fillet command to create rounding corners. Look down at the command line and there you can see that before selecting the first line, you can change radius of fillet to a Same like the fillet command. We can create bevels on line corners using chamfer command from modify toolbar. Just draw a few lines, 
start chamfer command and select the lines to create bevel corners. We can apply chamfer to the rectangle object just like we did with fillet command before. We will test chamfer on rectangle object, which is actually a polyline object. Same like in fillet command, user can change distance of trimmed corners by typing the letter than command line, and then when asked, enter the distance values, D1 and D2. Just after starting chamfer command, we will type P, as we want to apply chamfer to all line segments in the rectangle object. Finally, we will get chamfer direct angle. We enter different values for D1 and D2 but let undo command, and we will specify equal values for distances. Now when we apply chamfer command, we will get rectangle with corners equally cut it off. This was all about new fillet and chamfer command. Now we will see maybe the most interested improvements in new Babacut version, and that is a huge performance step in working with big and complex CAD drawings. Here we have big DWG drawing file, with size of few megabytes. It contains thousands of different CAD objects, but you can see that moving and zooming around the workspace is extremely fast. Editing existing objects, or drawing a new CAD objects are really fast, with no delay or breaks. Such performance cannot be found on any CAD software in low-cost price range. One of the new feature in the new version of Babacud is Responsive Block Explorer. Double-click with left mouse button to insert block from Block Explorer. You see that block name is displayed in the bottom of Explorer window. This new Block Explorer can manage thousands of blocks very fast, with no delay at all. We can change block scale and rotation angle in properties window after we insert the block to the drawing. We can insert block with command insert, but using block explorer is much faster option. At the end, I will demonstrate that now you can edit existing objects with no weightings. Then, we can insert or modify dimensions, change circle radius and so on. One important notice is that you must have mouse with middle scroll wheel button to use fast zoom and pan feature of Babacod. You can pan using command pan with left mouse button, but in that case you have to escape from pan command and start zoom command to zoom in, or zoom out. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.